Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. The third uh, announcement from Panasonic of the three cameras that were the big new announcements. We had the LX10, which I'm very excited about. The G85, which I'm over the moon about, and I can't wait to shoot it. Uh, but we also had a real sleeper in the sense of it caught me by total surprise. I didn't know it was coming. I'd had no... Um, word from Panasonic or from any I hadn't even heard rumors but the FZ 2500 2500 is out and wow what a camera Panasonic has packed if you're into video this is a camera you want to look at because Panasonic has packed most of their pro level features into a camera that's uh, I think it's 1199 US I'll put a link below you can check it out on Amazon and um, this camera I've got it up here on the site looking at the specs, but incredible hybrid camera for 4K. I mean, it's got a 20 times Leica lens. It's a uh, f2.8 to 4.5, so quite a bright lens, 2.8 at the wide end, and 4.5 at the long, which is still very respectable. Uh, what else do we have? We have the 4K video. We've got that amazing lens. It's a, it's a one inch, 20 megapixel sensor, so it should be a very good performing sensor. Uh, we've got 4K post focus and internal focus stacking, some of the new features with 4K. But of real note, for those of you that are into video, like into really high-end video, we've got Cine, Cinelike D and Cinelike V for cinema-like gradation. So they're giving us, you know, a, a log of sorts, if you will. Um, time code, live HDMI output, and 422, uh, 422 8-bit or 422-10-bit. That is very impressive. So to get the 4222, uh, I'm saying too many twos, 4228 bit and the 4220 bit, um, we're, we're essentially getting some killer codecs here to deliver some really, really amazing quality video. And also, one of the coolest features is this thing has built in ND, ND filters and it has, I think, four or five of memory serves. I was playing with this camera and shooting it, uh, settings. So it's not like it's just one uh, neutral density filter at a given setting. You've got options for how strong you want the neutral density filter to be, so really cool. We've also got uh, optional V-Log L upgradability. Uh, we've got recording formats of MP4 and MOV. Bit rates extended up to 200 megabits a second, MBPS. Uh, megabytes, megabits, I always get those confused. All intra or 100 MBPS amazing looking camera i mean this lens is an equivalent 24 to 480 millimeter equivalent that's f28 to 45 24 to 480 so you're getting a high quality wide wide zoom range you got 480 and then you got as wide as 24 so really good lens the other thing that's really cool about this camera is this camera has a hybrid photo video lens um, as panasonic says here an internal guide pole mechanism provides smooth stable zooming and dramatically suppresses image shift a galvo a galvanometer drive iris used in professional video cameras smoothly catches up with sudden changes in brightness to assure smooth seamless iris control even when zooming so in other words what happens there is if the camera is automatically adjusting the exposure and I've, I saw a sample video from Panasonic on this at Panasonic we saw how this works instead of you know a lot of cameras you'll see it jump the exposure like a big bump on you and it's sudden this steps it gradually it makes it look very natural it's very very impressive this camera also uh, for macro is really good let me see here what was the macro three centimeters I saw some big blow-up shots at Panasonic some sample photos three centimeter macro I mean this is an incredible all-rounder um, but also just a very very powerful video camera this camera has a lot of pro-end features that you don't get until you step into the multi thousands of dollars uh, pro video cameras so hey Panasonic is giving us some really impressive stuff here in a camera that's 1199 US I'll put the link below you can check it out on, on uh, Amazon all the details and whatnot but what do you guys think uh, this caught me by total surprise I wasn't expecting this and I was blown away uh, if you like the FZ 1000 this is like more than its big brother this is like its dad this thing has everything it is a beautiful camera I actually kind of think I want one. Um, are you guys interested? What do you think all the features on here? Uh, certainly if you're into video, high-end video, you really want to take a look at this. Leave your comments below on the FZ2500. Let's discuss it a little. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see if I get them answered for you. If I don't know the answer. If, um, 
you have if there's something missing if uh, you know what's your favorite feature i'm just pretty pumped about this camera it's a, it's a very interesting offering uh, especially when it was kind of to me a surprise so looking forward to seeing your feedback thanks for tuning in folks stay tuned we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com